Hi, I'm Jen Burlinghoff. I'm an environmental educator for the Lake County Forest Preserves here at Ryerson Woods. And we are tapping our maple trees today, hopefully um, to get some of the sap out and make some sweet real maple syrup for our education program. So what we do is we figure out which tree is the right tree to tap. We want the sugar maple tree because that's the type of tree that has the most sugar in its sap. And the sap is the tree's food. And so we figured out that this one is a sugar maple tree based on the opposite branches and the gray crumbly bark. And then we find a good spot on the tree to drill in about an inch until we get to the layer of the tree where the sap is coming up. The sap that was made last summer um, is now coming up the tree, hoping to get up to the ends of the branches to feed the little leaves that are waiting to open up. But we take a little of that and make it into syrup. So you can see um, that I've drilled in about an inch um, and you can see a little bit of sap dripping down. So when the nights are fall below freezing and the days are warm and above freezing, today's about 40 degrees, um, the sap will start running. This is called the sap running. And we want to capture that, so we grab a spile, and it's just a little metal spout that has a hole on the bottom and a hook, and we tap that into the tree, and there it comes. And then we hang a bucket. And we wait until all that sap fills up this bucket. It takes a while, but some days on a warm day, you can see it's dripping kind of like a leaky faucet. These, these buckets will fill up and hopefully we'll get about 40 gallons of this sap. And then we take it and we boil it all down until it becomes one gallon of real maple syrup. We make sure to put a top on here so we don't get extra water in the bucket when it rains or snows because that's just going to make it for a longer process to turn the sap that's 3% sugar into the syrup that's 66% sugar. So now we just wait.